We are live. I am Count Rapsley. Wow. Uh, or Ruben, whichever, I don't care. And this is our official update. Um, introduce yourself, I'm please. I'm Andrea, aka the Jolly Ollie Man. Not a man. Okay, so this is an official update video since like 2016 when we first got these. As you can see, Cal is completely naked now. And we removed his, I removed his guitar cover. And as you can see, there's a guitar underneath it. Guitarception. It's actually the same exact guitar that Tex uses. And they just put a cover over it. Anyway, so when these were abandoned by their original owner, all of them, including the little snake on the top, had their masks removed, except for Cal. So unfortunately with Cal, what happened was his mask turned back into rubber and melted inside his body. So all of this was completely covered with rubber. And I cleaned out most of it, but there's still tons that is in here, especially at the base of him. You can even see it on his eyelids. Yeah, that's, that's fused onto there. I can't get his eyelids off, by the way. The screw is too tight, so you have to help me with that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so his eyelids are going to be repainted. But anyway, he's completely naked at the moment. And as soon as I get this rubber cleaned out, we can air him up. And I will be taking him home soon, so me and... Rock a fire lover from Instagram who also has a cow. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna restore him together. But Roxanna's first, because she's the cleanest and she's beautiful, nice and clean, easy. So yeah, Roxanne's gonna be first, then Cal, and then Tex. And I'm saving Tex for last because as you can see, he's massive here. I'll stand next to him so you can see. He's a very big boy. Ugh, too big. Yes, too big to fit in the shot. I can't... I can barely reach his nose. He's very big. And I just discovered a wonderful, wonderful feature about him. Um, there's dead bugs stuck in his fur. Look at that. Delicious! Mmm! So I'm gonna skin him. Okay, that sounds morbid. I'm gonna take his fur off. So you I mean continue to skin him. Yes. Observe the skinned face. I'm gonna take his clothes off. His fur off. His clothes. Oh. And um, yeah, he's already like mostly naked, so. <laughs> oh. Stop. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna take his fur off so I can wash it. This slams really hard, so I'm just gonna. Anyway, the whole point of this video is that today my project is taking Roxanne's face shell off. With Tex, it has two parts, front and back. Just comes right off. It's like no problem at all. But with Roxanne and Cal, they have a big hole in the back of their head so you can get to the, like, you know, maintain them. But um, they fiberglass the seam shut. So you can't take the face off at all. So I need the face because I need to make molds. Give me your face. That was Optimus Prime quote, Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, we just kind of fixed his body turn cylinder, which popped off, but it needs another screw, another bolt. So he's still, it's still not entirely there. I, I'm pretty sure I left it in my pocket and have it at home, so at least he's, he's stable for now, but I can't really touch him because I don't want him to fall forward. Because if this comes undone, he's leaning forward like he was before, and it, the only thing holding him up is this weld right here. And if this weld breaks, he's going to fall in half and smash over, like the one at um, Magic Landing that's broken in half, leaning on the floor. And obviously I don't want that. I also reconnected Tex's tail cylinder that came off in transit. I can't get back there. Well, just take my word for it. I don't think we can get back there that way either. Anyway, Larry Nikolai provided very high quality photos of these characters in the 80s. And we found out, I found out, I don't know why we keep saying we, you had no involvement in this. I did all the work. <laughs> I found out myself. I found out, looking at the pictures, that, and my characters obviously, that each of them are numbered. And my show, except for Tex, is numbered number two. 
All of them have number two written all over them. Text has number four written on him. So I talked to Larry Nikolai and he kind of confirmed. He said he wasn't sure, but um, he doesn't know what else it could be. But these are show numbers. Rarm. Yes. Anyway, these are show numbers. So my show is the second show ever made. I don't know where the first one is. And in Larry's photos, you can see that Cal and Tex and... This is not Cal. I don't know why I pointed to her. But the show has number two written all over them. And upon further investigation, I compared the hand-painted lines in Roxy's ears to the pictures that Larry Nikolai provided. And I was able to confirm that those high-quality photos that he provided are of my show. So those pictures are the exact animatronics that I own now. And that is absolutely mind-blowing. That's like the coolest thing ever. To know that those photos of Roxanne that I love so much are actually the one that I have right here. Oh look, they actually wrote Roxanne on her arm. So look at that. Um, I... I didn't mean it literally. Just take my word for it. They wrote Roxanne. It's there. Everywhere else it just says Fox. Fox. Cal says Puma all over him. Anyway, I gotta get up here without murdering the warblets behind her. Warbles. There's a warble. Anyway, her hair was never connected when um, I got her, so it's just sitting on her head. Plus, I had that beautiful picture of it oh, yeah. on my head. I'm gonna like edit that in. It's my Please, favorite. I was so proud. What? <laughs> I was thinking you should put it on his I head. I'm putting it on his head. I need somewhere to put it. Ow, she's attacking me. Oh no! You are the rock sand now. Beautiful. Oh, you're so, you're so, you're so handsome. With his ear sticking on the center of his head yeah, and everything. Yeah, I can't move it anymore. I don't want to fall. Do you mind not attacking? I shouldn't say attack. I'll attract all the Five Nights at Freddy's people. Oh, he's attacking her. It's going to kill her. Yeah. Just kidding. Jump scare. Yeah, don't tighten it. Aluminum is terrifying. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure the bases are made out of steel. That is actually terrifying. That's so heavy. Well, hey, at least I'll never fall over. Me. Yeah. ones out when we first got her because I was trying to figure out how to get her head off but it didn't work out. Nifty patch for holding tools. Yes, Tex holds all my tools whenever I'm working. He also holds my phone. He's a really great guy. And wigs. Yes, and wigs. Oh, good boy. All his velcro came off so he's kind of getting a little nude. He's a nudist dragon. Forget about country dragon. Anyway, I guess I'll take her her little gift scarf that I got her. That's not even part of her outfit. I just found a scarf in my room, so. <laughs> I was like, oh, Roxanne would like this. At least it's not like that one creepy little kid story about the girl who had a ribbon or something tied around her neck for years. And... Ugh. I probably shouldn't be breathing this in. Delicious! I'm gonna get, I'm oh, sorry. I'm gonna get, why am I apologizing to an animatronic? I'm going to get cancer. That's not even a joke. I'm gonna, or get kicked out of storage. Hey, bow.
Okay. Um, I have a request, Ruben. Mm -hmm. I was going to say we could stop filming for now, but please do that um, we'll be right back voice from Rocco's Modern Life, the dude in the eyeball. <laughs> what, am I supposed to like reenact it, yeah, the just, whole thing? Just reenact the thing. <clears throat> Hey, hey! Someone's gonna pay for that glass! Ha 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 ha! We'll be right back. We now return to your brogery. brogerly. <laughs> um, um, regularly. Fire. regularly scheduled program. Alright, returning. Anyway, Ow. so what I did was, in order to remove her mask, I used a cutting disc. On a Dremel. Pizza cutter. Yeah, pizza cutter. That's what I always use to cut my pizza. Mm -hmm. um, and I breathed in deadly fiberglass dust because I forgot to bring a mask because I'm stupid. Yum. Yeah. And now everything's covered in fiberglass dust. Anyway, so mm. here's the piece that I cut off. This can be reattached with fiberglass later. And Get a good shot of this. This is the first time I or most people have seen Roxanne without a face. Of course. Face reveal of the century. Give me your face. My Optimus Prime is not primed for recording right now. We're getting there. Any day now. Okay, it's a little tough. I said give me your face. Giving faces is the right of all sentient primes. It's because there's these um, snaps on the back and it's kind of preventing the, uh, the posts that hold her face on from coming out. Give me your face! Now! <laughs> the way it looks like it's so kind of derpy. Great. Derp. Almost got it. We're getting there. Can you face Roxanne? I love the name Roxanne. Of course. Oh, great. Now the thing's stuck in a hole. Um, I have a childhood story. When I was about seven or eight, I had a neighbor in the like house behind my backyard. There was two houses. I don't know why my house is white enough for that, but whatever. Anyway. You said white enough. No, I wide like... enough. Anyway, uh, she was uh, this little girl lived in one of those houses, and she was about close to our age, and her name was Roxanne. But for whatever weird reason, we assumed her name, or just gave her the name Michael Jackson. So we'd never like hung out with her like outside of just being in our backyards. And uh, whenever we didn't see her and wanted to hang out with her, we would scream over the fence, Michael Jackson! Hey, Michael Jackson! Come on outside, let's play, Michael Jackson! <laughs> We didn't think of it being so weird back then, but I, I'm curious what our neighbors would have thought. Like, the hell these kids yelling Michael Jackson for? Uh, Doesn't look like anything got damaged. There, that's it's my story. Yeah, no, no, no story. That's a beautiful story. Lots of chuckles and laughs to be had with my neighbor Michael Jackson. It was actually a little girl named Roxanne. Hey, give me your screw, Michael Jackson. I don't think I should tell anybody to give me their screw. That sounds <laughs> sketchy. Imagine the people in the storage, like, adjacent to us, and all they hear is, Give me your screw, Michael Jackson. <laughs> I just think of that stupid, uh, weedy on a plate bullshit. <laughs> Can I get one weedy on a plate? Just, I gotta eat. Just the same weedy? Well, I gotta eat.
<laughs> Optus, we would be so proud to see this face removed. That's two faces. There's two. Oh my god! <laughs> Not really. Just kind of angry still. Why does she always look angry? It's because her mask is supposed to go right there. Hmm. So it just kind of looks like she's, she's got sultry eyes. <laughs> but without the mask there, it just kind of makes her look pissed. Well, it's understandable. Her face is removed. Yes. And her wig given to another. Mm-hmm. Another more deserving. I'm just kidding. Boobies. <laughs> oh. Just trying to position her a little more. There you go. Happy birthday. I don't know how you wear that, but it's okay. I still love you. Now to get down here without dying. Shiny boots. And take her facial Yes. Structure. The moment I've been waiting for. Give me that face. <laughs> Every time I get off of this, I feel like my pants are going to rip. <laughs> Full on Spongebob status. I need. I need. What is it, son? What do you need? A tailor. Because I ripped my pants. No, are you kidding me? Not even funny. No, no, no. <laughs> Classic SpongeBob is the best of Bobs. Yes, I like all the Bobs. I still watch Nickelodeon. I like Henry Danger. I know nothing of it. Then why are you in if you don't know anything about it? Because it's modern Disney. Uh, D Danger. Um, it's modern. I don't care for it. It sounds Schneider. boring. I still got that song stuck in my head about the fire and all that. The what? That that original Ugandan Knuckles theme song. I don't even know who had a theme song. I told you about that earlier. I don't listen to you. I don't oh, want to one. set the world on Stop fire. It. You're going to sing it too accurately and YouTube's going to monetize. I don't have any monetizing my video. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't They're going to block it. I just want to start a flame in your heart. Please say naked in Heifer's voice. Naked! Naked! Uh, comment if you know what that reference is. <laughs> That's a second Ro Rock with Modern Life reference thing you had to make. I'm wearing a Rocco shirt. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can put her face down. Oh, I enjoyed holding her face. <laughs> That's like fused on. Jeez. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> oh, is this another zipper? Mm. What happened to Velcro? Do you not like Velcro? This is going to be fun. I'm trying to remember where all this goes. Maybe it's labeled. Hmm. No. It's not labeled. This shouldn't be too hard to figure out though. Naked. So the Velcro is so like worn out that it just pulls right off the figure. Hmm. Not even connected anymore. That one was duct taped. What? Fancy. It's all gonna have to be replaced. In the manual, it says to use 3M weather strip adhesive hmm. to attach the Velcro. You don't deserve your own trunks. Somebody told me that once because I have them in storage. <laughs> Ooh, 
bros. What was that? Tons of bugs. Ugh. Thanks, Tex. Oh, delicious. Oh, freaking nasty ass dragon. <laughs> anyway, back to my steel gun, not to do my animatronics. Um, That's how you got it. I keep them in storage, so I don't deserve them, apparently. <laughs> what kind of freaking bugs are you wording in here, you gross? I think this is glued on. If I can remove this, that would be nice, because these are all in here, too. Ew. I don't even know if these are bugs. They might be, like, leaves or something. What the hell did this guy have these stored? Oh, good, it's not... Glued, you mean? Yeah. I just kind of died. It's just not. That's it. <laughs> wonder how many more dead rats are in here. Remember we found the dead rat in his arm? Yeah. It wasn't it was even dead. It was completely mummified. Mummified little crisp of a rat. <laughs> it looked like a leaf. <laughs> Who was there? Was it Dean or Willie? Willie. I, I, threw, I threw it at him. <laughs> and then he noticed it had claws. <laughs> That happened to my grandpa once when we first moved to Mira Mesa. No, no, I take that back. The second house we lived in Mira Mesa. We went to the garage and, I don't know, he was poking at the ceiling for something, the rafters. And a freaking dead, crusty rat fell on his head. <laughs> Nasty. Can you get off of those boards, please? Thank you. Boards. Wow. Naked text. I don't see anything, anything dead in there, yet. Oh look, there's a hose cut in there. Hmm. Like completely cut, it's not even connected to any of the other hoses. <laughs> wonder why they'd do that. Maybe it was the rats! Great. Like, duh. Well, I mean, you'd have to get a good close look. Actually, I can't tell either. I was going to say, you'd be able to notice the difference if it was just cut and if it was chewed yeah, off. The ones in his head look straight up cut. Hmm. It's probably bad for all this. Yeah, that would have been good. Wow. Roxanne looks so tiny now. <laughs> oh, I guess his arm is just rubbing on the Velcro because it sounds normal now. Hmm. not smell very nice. I just thought I should let everybody know that. If there's a will, there's a way. I swear to god, like, freaking black, black recluse. That's not even the word. Brown recluse falls out at us or something. I'm gonna have a heart attack if you like being a creative engineering all over again. Mmm. Goodness, where the hell did they store these things? In the backyard? Probably. Nasty. They must have stored Roxanne inside because she's nice and clean. Cow is melted and dragon number four is just covered in dead things. <laughs> the inside of, um, Cal's boots say that they were bought at Sears. I just thought everybody should know that. They can go back in time in the 80s and go to Sears and get their very own country cow boots. Give me that. May he rest in peace. He's peeking. <gasps> Take that. You know, everybody bitches so much and harasses me to sell my Mac Tonight head to them. There was a Mac Tonight head on eBay for like 10 months. Oh. For $400. <gasps> you dumbs. What a deal. It recently sold, but it was under Mick Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's his name. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Duct tape. Mm. Duct tape. Woo. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. He smells funny. 
Like duct tape. Like dead rats. And duct tape. And duct tape. <sighs> I guess we're done. I'll do some close-ups. Not of me! Where's my close-up? I don't want to set Take the world out. <laughs> Not the same, but close enough. Oh, my hand shaking. from being weak. Weakling. My handsome boy. What about his little tumor on the top? His little tumor. Rubber. <laughs> Forgot about uh, Captain Robotnik jangles in the back corner. I think he's got a hat on his head. Schnozzola. my head on the cider storage unit. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Ew, this is so creepy. Stop! Your body looks so tiny and weird. <laughs> Wait till somebody comes into storage and just <laughs> walk through the halls like that. I'm gonna ban from storage for sure. I have spoken, but the king does not speak. Of course. Anyway, if anybody's reading this, reading this, yes. God, yeah, if anybody's reading this video, um, you can follow me on Instagram under the name Cavity Sam, all one word, obviously, Cavity Sam, mm -hmm. and uh, I post pictures of these guys, I post pictures of these guys all the time, maybe you could also teach me how to speak English, <laughs> English. 